chicken breasts and my steak, eggs, rice. We're eating four or five pounds of meat a day. Eight every two hours. That's how dedicated I was. I eat for function, not for taste. Oh. <laughs> Jay Cutler was 3% body fat. What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video, I am going to be attempting Jay Cutler's 3% body fat diet. So in many interviews on podcasts, Jay Cutler mentioned that he got down to 3% body fat when he was competing for Mr. Olympia. So in this video, we are going to find out what it takes to be dieting to get to 3% body fat for Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Before we get started with Jay Cutler's 3% body fat diet, figured I'd show you all everything that's included, which is really not that much. It's honestly what you'd expect. 50,000 a year on food. We have lots of chicken breast, ton of chicken breast. I'd buy 150 pounds of chicken at a time. Steak, whole eggs, brown rice, broccoli, sweet potatoes, Gatorade, and protein powder. This new year, I know there's a ton of you guys that are actually going to look into starting bodybuilding or just in general, betting your physiques. I'm gonna have to tell you all right now, this is not the type of diet you wanna follow. Obviously, Jay Cutler is a whole nother league and if you're a natural athlete trying to lose body fat and gain muscle this is not going to be for you make sure you're focused on your own calories your macros your own training routine that you can stay consistent with and I want to help you all out so I'm opening up a hundred free spots for you guys to try out my shredding program for free the next 100 people can click the first link in description box down below to sign up for free I'll create you a meal plan and a workout routine suited towards you with something you can actually follow not like this but with that being said let's go ahead and get started with meal number one actually we're gonna do something different So I figured before I get started with Jay Cutler's diet, I cook all the protein sources we need in today's diet plan in bulk because there's so much chicken breast. I'd buy a whole cow at a time. If I were to cook each meal individually, I'd be in the kitchen all day long. We're gonna cook everything in bulk. Just a huge tip for these guys that are trying to naturally bodybuild or trying to gain muscle this year. Make sure you prep your protein sources in bulk along with carbs. Like get yourself a rice cooker, cook it in bulk, cook your protein sources in bulk when you're making one piece of chicken. Why spend 20 minutes making one piece when you can spend 30 minutes making like six or seven pieces? Pieces and just keeping it in the fridge for three, four days. Just a huge tip here. This is something that's helped me the last couple of years with my natural bodybuilding journey. And I've went from here to here doing simple things like this. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got all of our protein sources cooked in bulk. This is literally a day's worth of protein for Jay Cutler, but this would actually last a normal person for about four days. So just make sure you put it in a container, leave it in the fridge for about three to four days, and bam, you got yourself your protein and fat sources whenever you wanna whip up a quick meal. So I just got done preparing meal number one, and thankfully it is only going to consist of two whole eggs and a scoop of protein powder. It's gonna get my stomach acclimated to all the protein that I'm about to be consuming. We have a scoop of this fruity cereal whey forward protein powder. So there's actually a lot of protein powder in Jay Cutler's diet, which I don't recommend you take any more than like two scoops daily. However, this is Jay Cutler we're talking about. Just so you guys get in representation of how big this dude is, he's around 270 to 290 pounds at 5'9". I'm 5'9 at 175 pounds. So he's almost 100 pounds more than I am. I'm gonna use this Animal Free Way Forward. I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. It's a beast protein powder that I love to use on a daily basis. Tastes like protein. Tastes like fruity protein. And so the challenge begins. Just got done preparing a meal number two, which is going to consist of two cups of brown rice and 12 ounces of cooked chicken breast. 12 ounces for your second meal today, and we have way more to go. I'm seriously screwed. The good news is that this is my pre-workout meal, so at least I'm not going to work out after like 60 ounces of chicken breast. Otherwise, all of the gym, everybody in there is gonna run for their lives. One thing about Jay Cutler's diet, he mentions that he likes to have high protein, high carb, and lower fats. Wish me luck. It's delicious. It really is actually good. All right guys, so I just got to the gym hitting a chest and arms workout. And as I mentioned at the very start of this video, look, I'm trying to help all of you guys getting into natural bodybuilding or just trying to better your physiques this year. This is gonna be a year, I promise, and I'm gonna do my best on my YouTube channel to help you make that happen. But I'm following one of my workouts in my program. So this is day one of week one. This is chest and arms. Pay attention to these exercises. I'll show you what chest is gonna consist of. We're gonna do incline dumbbell bench press first, three sets of around eight to 10 reps. Then we're gonna move on to some chest flies for three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. 
So I just got done with the chest portion of my workout. I only do two exercises because I do chest twice per week and you really don't need to do that much to grow your chest, believe me. Just get stronger at the exercises you've seen me do in my videos like I just showed you all. But anyways, we're moving on to arms. I wanna show you all four specific exercises that I love to do. The first two are just gonna be straight sets. We're gonna do three sets of eight to 10 reps. Then the other two are gonna be super set at art. We're going from a bicep straight to a tricep for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. You honestly don't need that much for an amazing workout. That is going to wrap up my chest and arms routine. I really hope you all enjoyed that workout walkthrough for my program. Look guys, I say this in a lot of my videos and I hate to sound like a broken record, but I'm gonna keep on saying it. If I'm a type one diabetic and I can achieve the results that I have today with natural bodybuilding and feeling happy and confident with my physique, then any one of you guys can get in the gym, do these simple workouts that I show you in my videos and kick ass. But look, if you wanna get access to this workout program and see it yourself for free, the first 100 of you guys will get to get access to it. Just make sure you click that first link description box down below to check it out and give it a try for a week. I really think you're gonna enjoy it. But anyways, that is going to wrap up my training routine for the day. We're gonna go home and stuff ourselves with more chicken breast. Okay, never mind. I'm actually looking at the diet plan for today and we're not gonna be stuffing ourselves with chicken breast post-workout. It is going to be the most horrifying post-workout shake you're ever gonna see in your life. I cannot believe I'm doing this right now. So we have 60 ounces of red Gatorade and three scoops of protein powder. I made sure that this is the fruity cereal flavored one. I figured it might taste best with the red Gatorade. Jay Cutler is doing this because he wants to get as many quick sugars into his body along with protein as fast as possible post-workout to fuel his muscles. I would never in a million years do this. Also, if you don't know, if you're new to the YouTube channel, I've had type one diabetes for the last 22 years of my life, so I cannot drink all this. I'll give it a try. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that tastes kind of good. <laughs> kind of tastes good. <sighs> it's not that bad. I figured this would be the best time to talk about this since we're on the topic of post-workout and getting carbs or protein as fast as possible after your workouts. You really don't have to do that, guys. When you're naturally bodybuilding, don't focus on meal timing so much. I mean, obviously do whatever is most convenient to your schedule and makes you feel best. Everybody's body is different, but you don't have to tank down sugar and protein in order to grow muscles quicker. Trust me. <laughs> Moving on to meal number four, which is going to consist of, get this, 14 ounces of chicken breast. I truly don't think I've ever had 14 ounces of chicken breast in just one meal. I mean, maybe when I've done another crazy diet challenge video, but in my normal day of eating, but Jay Cutler is not a normal human being. We have a sweet potato as well to the side for more carbohydrates. So this is just pretty much purely protein and carbs. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's try that again. I love sweet potatoes. They are so good. If you guys are not used to having sweet potatoes, give them a try. And here's a huge tip as well. This will add a little bit more fats and it sounds weird, but if you put some peanut butter and cinnamon and sea salt on a sweet potato, best combination ever. Do not judge a book by its cover. Try it out. Unless you're Jay Cutler, you're gonna have to eat it plain and suffer in misery. I cannot believe we are eating yet again more rice and chicken. It's been about like three hours since the last meal, but look, here's a huge tip, just like I told you all with the meal prepping, try out these 60 second rice cups. They're super convenient, man. Like if you guys go to work or something, need a quick lunch, you wanna eat out, you wanna stick to eating healthy, bring these with you. We got a microwave around you. <laughs> got done preparing meal number 
five, and I know you probably couldn't have guessed it, but two more cups of brown rice with 12 ounces of cooked chicken breast. You have chicken? Literally have wiped out all of the H-E-B down the street, but check it out, guys. We have the game room. I'm gonna eat this up here. There's a change of scenery around, but ever since I bought this house about six months ago, I never really showed you all a little bit of an update with what I did the game room. I told you guys in a vlog earlier that I'd show you, but I added a pool table. We got a cool light picture over here. We have a six 75 inch TV that I hung up, and then we also have a high top table with two epic light gray chairs. I'm obsessed with these little chairs. And we also have a bar where bartender suede comes out to play. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here and miserably eat this meal. <sighs> you know, I wonder, did he just enjoy this? Eating is a big part of our lives. I don't know how you could just do this on a daily basis and live life. Jay Cutler, mad respect, bro. <laughs> all right guys, so we're moving on to meal number six and I actually want to show you all exactly how I prep up this meal Meal number six in Jake Cutler's diet aka the final meal of the day is gonna call for eight ounces of steak So just a huge tip here like I mentioned for a lot of you guys starting natural bodybuilding this year Just trying to better your physique get a weight scale my friends It makes it so much easier to understand exactly how much you're consuming and diet is clearly the most important part of the day It doesn't matter if Jake Cutler me John or Rodney down the street you need to make sure you focus on your diet every Everybody can agree with you on that, but we also have two cups of broccoli. Now, I really don't recommend you have to weigh out your greens. Like, don't take it that serious. Unless you're Jay Cutler, of course. Eight ounces of steak and two cups of broccoli. I wanna share with you all the total amount of macros and calories in Jay Cutler's 3% body fat diet, which consisted of 4,089 calories, coming from 389 grams of carbs, 80 grams of fat, and 436 grams of protein, which almost gets to a 40-40-20 split. 39% of the calories came from carbs, 43% came from protein, and then 18% came from fat. So also know what your body works best on. You know, is it higher carbs, lower fats, high protein, or is it higher fats, lower carbs, and high protein as well? That is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys found it entertaining, even helpful in any sort of way. If you did, smash the like button right now. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below. More importantly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this every single week and you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.